Yes, my dear wonderful students, good morning all. My name is Odumas Vivian. I'm here to teach you home economics, GSS2 home economics. Yes, before then, I hope you are playing safe. I hope you are playing safe. It's very important, especially at this time. Please don't walk around. Make sure you always wash your hands with soap and water and sanitize them. All right? I miss you all. And I believe you almost have been missing school by now. But not to worry. Everything will be fine in no, in no distant time. All right? Okay. Our topic today is resources and decision making. Resources and decision making. That is our second week topic. Our second week topic, resources and decision making. Yes, that is the topic we have today. And in this topic, we would like, I would like to show you the re learning objective of this topic, which I want each and every one of you to know at the end of this class. Now, uh, the learning objective of this topic is at the end of the class, student will be able to know the definition of family resources, family resources management and decision making. These three definitions, I want you to note them and comprehend them. Yes, I want you to know the steps in decision making and as well want you to know the simple personal and family decisions one can take. All right, yes, let's go down to the definition of all these things I mentioned in my learning objective one. Family resources are those things which the family can use to meet their needs and reach their goals. Those things which the family can use to meet their needs and reach their goals. One will ask me, what are those things? But not to worry, we have those things uh, as we are going down, you will see them very well. We have things like money, we have things like possession, we have things like um, our skill, our imagination, the way we, our energy even. They are most, some of the things the family use to meet their needs and also reach their goals in one way or the other. Let us be going down now. Look at the defini dec definition of Decision making. Decision making is the act of making a choice from alternative causes of an action or things. Yes, act of making a choice from alternative causes. Now, let me take for instance, as a student, I gave you 10 pens to choose one. Remember, you have to put some things into consideration before choosing the best out of the 10. Maybe you will think of, oh, the design of the pen, the, how is the pen writing, how it floats, then how is the mouth, is it tiny mouth, is it bold mouth, is some things you put into consideration before you not just say out of this thing, this is the one I choose. So it, that is exactly decision making. Those things you put into consideration before you make your choice from the alternative causes. They are called decision making. Yes. Now, we have family resources management. Family resources management. I have to give you this definition for you to know the difference between family resources and family resources management. And family resources management is the ability to adequately use these resources to cater for the desired needs of the family. Let me tell you, some people will have the need or the resources. Some families, they will have the resources, but how to use it to meet their adequate need or their desired needs is a problem. So if you don't have this skill, family resources management, if you don't have the skill management, you won't be able to use any skill any resources or skill or whatever that is around you to meet your adequate need. 
I hope you are getting it. Now you have gotten the resources as a family. Hmm? A family has have gotten their own resources, but the ability to now use those resources to meet their adequate need is what we call family resources management. I hope it's clear now. Okay, let's go to the types of family resources. Now, types of we have two main types of family resources, and we mentioned them to be human resources and non-human or material resources. Yes, I will define human resources here, which says they are those things, those resources which exist within an individual, within you. Are you getting it? They are personal to each other. That is why I mentioned your skill, your imagination, your knowledge, your energy and time. You can imagine the type of skill you have and look around, you won't see another person that will have that skill. Or it will be one over 10 that will have that skill. Are you getting? Skill differs. The type of skill I have is different from the type you have. That does not mean that they are not useful. They are all useful, but you, the ability of using these skills to, ability of using these skills to meet your desired needs is what matters. That is what we call family resources management. Yes, your imagination. The way I imagine things is quite different from the way other people imagine. The knowledge I have is different from the knowledge another person Ah, are you getting? Now, the knowledge you as a student has is different from another student. That is the truth of the matter. And so also energy. The energy at which I will use to do my work is quite different from another one. So that is, called, that is what we call human resources. They are those things which exist within an individual they are personal to each individual. Are you getting? It cannot be shared. Even if I decide to share my knowledge, I cannot give you 100% of my knowledge. Yes, I can only share a few of my knowledge to you. My knowledge remains my knowledge. My skills remains my skills. I can share a bit, but not all. Is that taken? So it is in me and it is in you as a student. I hope it's clear. Do you get it? Now, let us look at the second one, material and non-material resources. These are resources that exist outside people which can be controlled. It can be controlled. Are you getting owned or used by the family? Do you see the difference now? The other one is inside me. It is me and me alone. But this one is now outside the people. One can control it, one can own it and use it and at the same time. Are you getting it? Yes, we have, I gave two examples of these resources to be, we have our, our houses, some family, they have many houses in different areas. Let me tell you, how do you use this, your house to meet your immediate or desired adequate need? You can, do you know if you have up to houses in different, it may be Leki, Aja, K2, and so on. You have houses there as a family. They can decide to put tenants there. Yes, they can decide to put, rent it out to people. And at the end of the year, they will be getting some amount of money which they'll be using to meet their adequate need. Are you getting it? Yes, that is how you will use your possession to meet your needs. That is why it is important for you to have that skill management. Because if you can manage very well, you will be able to use whatever you acquire from this position, which is our house, 
Do you understand? You use it to meet your adequate need. Let's say you need a car or you need to register your child in a school, a good school, but the money you got from this house, do you know you will use it to acquire a car? Or you will use it to register your child in any desired school of yours? Another one is money. Yes, look at money. Money, some people will say money answers all the uh, question. Do you understand? In as much as you don't have house, you don't have land, you don't have anything as your possession in the family, but you have money, my dear, you are good to go. Because money, you can, with money, you can buy a house, with money, you can buy a land, with money, you can do every other thing you want to do. Yes. You can even pay for someone that has that skill or energy to give you what you want. So with money is possession. It is outside people. It exists outside people. It wasn't born within it, with people. Are you getting it? It is not born with people. It exists outside people. So with money, you can acquire your other possessions. And you can use it to meet your adequate needs in the family. Is that clear? All right, let's be going to the steps in decision making. Steps in decision making. Now, how do we make steps? How do you take a step? How do we study the steps? When you want to make a decision, you need to look at the steps you have to follow before you make a decision. Very important. Do you know, you have to identify the decision to be made and list the alternative Choose the best alternatives, act on your decision, and evaluate your decision. Now, listen, I want to explain it to the student point of view. Now you are a student in secondary school, just as too precisely. Yes, and you have made your decision. I believe you have all made your decision of what you want to be tomorrow, isn't it? Okay, now a student might have decided that, oh, I want to be a doctor in future. Are you getting? But, oh, this is the decision made. I hope you know. But list your alternative. What if being a doctor did not work out? What else will you be? Oh, okay, now I want to make an alternative. I want to be a doctor. But if I cannot make it to be a doctor, I will be a nurse. If I don't want, if I can't make it to be a nurse, I'll be a pharmacist. Do you see? They are all in the same field. You have made an alternatives. Are you getting? Now, choose the best out of the alternative. How do you choose the best? Will you choose it just with your mouth? No. You will choose it by looking at the effort, by work acting on that decision. You act on your decision before you'll be able, if you act on your decision here, you'll be able to choose the best alternative. Are you getting? Okay, take for instance, acting on the decision now, you will be able to work very hard in as much as you are in the secondary school, work hard in your junior level, work hard in your senior level, and at the end of your, or your studies, you will be able to come out with good work question. That is your evaluation one. For you to make, act, to make, to choose the best alternative, you have to make good work results that will give you admission into a doctoring department, pharmaceutical department, and so on and so forth of where you are aiming. Are you getting? So when you get it right at that beginning, you find out that you are true, your, that's your identified decision that you have choose earlier, you are still Backing on it. Are you getting it? Now, being admitted now into the university, you have to work hard for maybe for four extra years or six years, as the case may be, depending on the course you want to study in the, in, in, in the higher institution. And at the end of the study, you have to evaluate yourself by getting your results, your degree results, and you do what? 
you now check, okay, did I actually make it to first class, two one, that is second class upper, or am I in second class lower, or am I in third class papa? Are you getting it? That is how you evaluate yourself. Now, doing that, you now know, oh, am I to further my education? Am I to gain more knowledge in this field? Or am I to enter the uh, uh, labor market to start practicing my, my profession? Are you getting that? These are the steps you look into before making decision. Another one we are going to look at is the simple personal decisions. There are some decisions, mind you, when you are taking decisions, some decisions can rule your life. Do you know? So making good decisions can help prevent mistakes in life. Because when you make a mistake in taking, making decisions, eh, it can rule someone's life. So you need to take some time. You take time. You, you have a great thought. Use your energy in making the decision. Decision is not something you just sit up one day and you say, ah, I've made a decision that I want to do this. In my decision might take you one week. It might take you days before you come out of what you actually want to do. Yes, we have some areas where you as a person can take decision without consulting anyone. Like food related decision, we have clothing related decision, we have a housing related decision, choosing related decision, educational related decision. Yes, here, you choose the, the type of food you eat. Oh no, if I eat uh, beans, it's not always good in my system. So I don't, I dislike eating beans. Instead of eating beans, let me go for more and more. Are you getting it? And you're still getting your protein. Let me go, to, go for more and more, eat eggs and other things that can give me protein. Then you now choose, you're going to coming down to clothing related decision. You find out that, oh, you will not talk, sit down and talk to yourself. No, 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 no. I don't want to be dressing like a cat. I always want to dress responsibly. responsibly. Do you understand? I don't want to be wearing any cloth that looks like rack. It all depends on you. The decision you take will take you a long way. Now, housing related resources, uh, sorry, decision. Well, now you now decide on the type of house you actually want to live in. Yes. Is it a one room apartment, two room apartment, or oh, three bedroom flat, and so on and so forth? Do you understand? It all depends on you. You choose, the way you choose things depends on you as well. Educational related decision also matters. What level do I actually want to get to in life? You have to choose it yourself. And when you choose it, it goes with determination and hard work. You determine and start working. After first degree, you go for second degree. After second degree, you go for third degree, and so on and so forth. It's possible. It's achievable. And before you be able to take such decision, someone might must be at the background, which you are looking up to as your mentor. Because I can remember when I was growing up as a child, my dad loved listening to news a lot. So one evening, I, I, I woke up to him. Dad, did you know if I grow up, I want to be talking in the television and I want, to be, I want people to be hearing my voice. Are you getting My dad was like, that would be nice, but you need to work hard. You need to study your book very well. Do you know that these people, they are speaking English. They are not speaking Igbo. Are you getting it? He had to encourage me. He had to let me know. And since then, I had it at the back of my mind that, oh, I need to work hard. I need to study hard in order to achieve my aim. Look at me today. In as much as I'm not talking in the television, but I'm teaching people. I'm still in line of what I want in life. Are you getting it? So my dear wonderful students, your decision you make, it depends on you. We have some decisions you make, which some family, some decisions the family will make 
on their own. Like when the family look at the number, the family, they will decide to, oh, we need a car. They will get mobile, this thing for the family. They will get a car, no matter how small. Do you understand? If they think they need mobility, they will get a car. If they think that, okay, oh, we actually want to build a house, they will go on and build a house. These are the decisions family can take and some other things like that. But I want you to practically, based on the decisions you will take on your own, and please be conscious of taking any decision. Do you know another thing you will look into, the kind of friends you make, it also depends on you. Yes, my dear. Make sure you choose the best friend because they say, show me your friend and I'll tell you the type of person you are. Do you know some friends can rule your life if, you are, if care is not taken? But if you are fortunate and very careful in making friends and you were able to get good friends, my dear, you are good to go. You people will be thinking alike you'll be reasoning alike, and you'll be able to move far in life. Is that taken? Yes, I want to quickly remind you that to, this will bring me to the end of this lesson today. But mind you, this is not the comprehensive note of this topic. Please log into your portal in the school website and get the comprehensive notes of this topic resources and decision making and do the assignment that follows remember copy your notes because your note carries some marks which i will use for assessments your complete note is your complete mark you know and your complete assignment is your assessment you know that please do that and don't delay don't look back education has come to stay we must move on do you understand? See you next time in our next class. And I'm happy to meet you all. To, I will be happy to see you all in the next class. That is our third week, our third week topic. All right. Bye for now. Bye.